In this video, we'll balance the equation for ammonium phosphate plus zinc nitrate. So we have a lot of these different polyatomic ions here. This is a double displacement reaction where the zinc and the ammonium ions, they switch places. So with this double displacement reaction, we have a lot of polyatomic ions. We have the ammonium ion here, it stays together. We have it over here. We have phosphate, and again, we have phosphate ions. And then the nitrate, that's also repeated. So we're going to count these polyatomic ions as just one thing. It'll make it a lot easier to balance. So I have one ammonium ion times three. Three of those, one phosphate ion, one zinc atom, and then two nitrate ions. Product side, one ammonium, two of these phosphates here, three zinc, and then just one nitrate. So this is a lot neater, a lot easier to deal with. I think I'll just start by balancing the ammonium ions here. I could put a three in front of the ammonium nitrate. This one times three, those are balanced. Three goes to everything, so my nitrate one times three. Now I have three nitrate ions. Let's just do the phosphate next. We could put a two in front of the ammonium phosphate. So now I have three of these ammoniums times two. Three times two, that'll give me six but my one phosphate times two, those are balanced. Why don't we leave this for now and let's balance the zinc atoms because I could put a three here, one times three, that gives me three of those. So the zinc atoms are balanced and then I have two nitrates times three, two times three, that gives me six. But we're almost done here because I can see the ammonium, I have three here and six here. The nitrate, three here and six here. So I just need to change this coefficient to six to balance the equation. Let's do that. So if I put a six here, I have the one ammonium times six, six of those. We just balance those. One nitrate times six, that gives us six nitrate ions. We're done. This equation is balanced. So if you have polyatomic ions, like say the ammonium ion, that is on both sides of an equation, Count them as one thing. Either way, you'll get the same coefficients in the end. This will just save a lot of time. And that can be important on exams. This is Dr. V with the balance equation for ammonium phosphate plus zinc nitrate. Thanks for watching.